Hey there. So I'm going to tell you about the times that I've been on a TV show. Who cares what you think? Sit down and pay attention. Okay, let's set the stage. So, I occasionally work for a company that does background actor casting for movies and TV shows. That includes The Avengers and basically any other Marvel movie that films in my hometown Atlanta, which basically is all of them. What Marvel? Am I not good enough for you? Am I not up to your standards? Probably not. Atlanta actually has quite the film industry going. Hundreds upon hundreds of films are shot here a year. It's incredible. I also am very, very, very passionate about film myself. I'm currently majoring in film in college and have been making my own short films and movies for the past seven or eight years. I have a second YouTube channel if you want to go see all my hard work. Link in the description below. Anyway, let's talk about the shows I've been on. First, I was on a show you may have heard of it. It's called The Gifted. This was my very first time ever being on a real movie studio. It was amazing. I met Steven Spielberg, I shook his hand, I'm just kidding, that didn't happen. This was the one time though that I wasn't just there to be a background actor, no no no. I was a stand-in for one of the main actors. This guy, I couldn't remember his name. My job? Stand right next to the main character on the show as she runs away from me and a car that they would catch on fire only a couple of feet in front of me where I was standing. Easy. Yes, they really did catch a car on fire, and yes, it was only about five feet in front of me. I was not ready to die, nor did they let me know that this was the kind of role I was playing until I arrived to set. No figure. Now, on camera, you can't really see my face that well, and I was only a stand-in because the actual actor couldn't make it that day or something. They did use makeup to give me a fake beard, though, to look like him. That was fun. I was finally a man. Here's the scene I was in. Roll the clip. Wasn't that great? Do you think Hollywood would recognize me for my talent? I am a work of art. So the second show I was on was a Netflix original series called Insatiable. A weird show I'd never watch, but it's still cool to be part of it. This time around, I really was just a background actor though, in like three or four places. I really am the star of the show since they chose to use all the different angles they shot of me. Watch this. I'm the teleporting man. There I am. There I am again. And again. And again. What is going on here? The people of Hollywood just love me. They can't get enough of me. Mm. But seriously, they didn't realize this mistake when editing? Really? I'm going to teach you all something now about filming a movie. You don't just shoot one long shot. You shoot multiple angles and have your actor or background actors do the same exact thing in every single angle. This could sometimes result in continuity errors unrealized by either the film crew or whoever is editing the footage. It also doesn't help the case how brightly colored the backpack is I'm wearing, so... The final two shows I've been on have both been MacGyver and a Facebook web series that many of you probably haven't heard of called Queen America. Not much to report on either show. I did get to act in the scene right next to Catherine Zeta-Jones, though, in Queen America, so that was fun. Hey, thanks for watching to the end. Since the last video, I've managed to surpass 20 subscribers. Oh, yeah! Whoa, I sound like Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah! Now, that may not sound like a lot, but for me, it's way more people than I thought would ever like my stuff. So, thank you. Anyways, remember to keep drawing. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And go subscribe to PewDiePie just cause he has to beat T-Series. I'll see you next time.